Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my October reading wrap up. How exciting. Can't believe it's the end of the month. I feel like this month has literally flown. Like how is Halloween already over? We're like seven weeks away from Christmas. Like it's insane. I sadly didn't get to read as many like thrillers and mystery books that I wanted to in this month because of the Throne of Glass series, okay? If you guys have been watching my channel and following me on Instagram, I've been reading this series and I'm like trying to read it slowly and not too fast so I can kind of like savor it because with Akata I read it like all within a month and I was so sad when it was over. So I've been trying to savor this series but it's taking me a lot longer to get through than what I thought it would be because it's not as fast paced as Akata. So Throat of Glass is like basically majority of the books that I've read in this month. I read like two mystery and thrillers which is really sad because i wanted to read more but i just couldn't get around to it which is really frustrating because that's what i wanted to do anyways i'm going to talk about the throne of glass series and where i'm up to now since i'm already talking about it anyways but i'm not going to go into it too much because again like i've said i'm doing a reading vlog on this series so i'm kind of just going to give a brief overview and my rating for this wrap up so i finished queen of shadows which i'm so happy about i actually really enjoyed this i ended up rating it four out of five stars i love the development in this one and that is all i'm gonna say <laughs> i then moved on to do the tandem read of empire of storms and tower of dawn these two books kicked my ass i I struggled with Tower of Dawn so much. Loved Empire of Dawn, but guys, why did they have to be so thick for? Like, Tower of Dawn is like almost 700 pages, and Empire of Storms is again almost 700 pages. So, if anyone doesn't know, the hand and read is basically when you read these two books at the same time because they are happening at the same time but to two different characters if that makes sense. So you read maybe three chapters of this and then you go back to this book and you might read three chapters of that and you kind of just read it all together and then it makes sense in the story and the series because it's happening at the same time. I rated Tower of Dawn three out of five stars. I'm sorry, but Kale, I really don't care about your story. Next, and Empire of Storms, I rated four out of five stars. The cliffhanger on this, had my heart ripped out of my chest and thrown across the room. Was very upset with this. And then I had to go back and read this and finish this. Ugh. Anyways, Tower of Dawn really tested my patience and it took me a bit to get through both of these books and reading it them at the same time. But I enjoyed it nonetheless. And this month, in the month of November, I'm going to read Kingdom of Ash and if anyone knows it's the last book in the Throne of Glass series I'm not ready for it to be over. I really really love the main character and her story and I don't really want it to end But if you haven't read this series already or picked up any Sarah J Mass books You need to. They're fantasy but they literally like make you have the biggest emotional connection to all of the characters and it just takes a bit of your soul when you're reading it and when the series ends it like just hurts. So Kingdom of Ash is 980 pages. I know. So be patient with me. I'm hoping to finish it next month while I read other books because again I'm trying to read other books while I'm reading this series so then I don't get into a reading slump afterwards and also want to make sure I pace this series out because it is a big series and the books are so thick they can sometimes drag a little bit and I don't want it to put me in a slump so I'm trying to like toss up and make sure I'm like going well and going steady that's kind of how I am at the moment with this series but I'm up to Kingdom of Ash now and I'm so excited to finish the series and see how it all ends and finally be a part of that community and then I'm going to start Crescent City so Wish me luck with that. Um, anyways, the next book I ended up reading was my book club pick of the month, The Housemate by Frida McFadden. I actually really enjoyed this. It was really fast paced. It was really easy read. It was really entertaining. It like held my attention the whole time. I ended up rating this three out of five stars. It's a mystery and thriller. This book basically follows Millie. We don't know much about her backstory, but she's going to apply for this housekeeping maid job with this really rich family. She's like living in a car. She doesn't earn a lot of money. She's got a criminal record, which we don't know why. And she's scared she's not going to get this job. She meets the owner, her name is Nina, she's got a husband Andrew and a daughter called Celia. Nina ends up hiring Millie, which Millie's really surprised about because of her criminal record. She ends up living with them but living in the attic upstairs. First red flag is that there is a lock on the outside of the door, not the inside. I would have run if I saw that, first of all. Anyways, and there's like some secrets and some weird stuff happening in the house and everything kind of like unravels from there. But 
this mystery will literally have you on a chokehold. The chapters are short, which makes you just want to keep reading. I ended up reading this within two days, I think. It was really good. I wouldn't say it's the most amazing mystery and thriller that I've ever read because I did find the ending to be a bit predictable and not like shocking and wow, but I did want to keep reading to see what was going to happen. And that is kind of what you want with a mystery and thriller to keep you entertained and to hold your attention. I would recommend this. I do think it's worth the read. It was really fun. I'm definitely going to read the second one because I want to know what happens and how the story continues from there. I then randomly decided to pick up this short book called Lemon. It's like 150 pages. I don't think I can pronounce the author's name, but it's there if you can see it. It is supposed to be like a mystery and thriller. That's why I decided to pick it up because it's like a really short read. I might as well just tick it off in an afternoon, which I did. I read it in one sitting. I ended up rating this two out of five stars. I cannot for the life of me tell you what this book is about. Do not ask me. I have no idea. It was like a fever dream. It, I, I was like zoning out during this book. I had like no idea what was going on. I had no connection to any of the characters. The story, I just was like, okay, this is like going nowhere. Didn't really enjoy the writing style. I think that's also a big part of it why I kept zoning out. I just it was not the book for me. Would not recommend it. At least it was a really short read and didn't take up too much of my time, but it just it was a very bad note to end on I will say that for this month yeah I like I'm thinking I'm trying to think about like the book now and like what happened in it and I literally cannot tell you I could not tell you but nonetheless at least I ended up reading five books this month I would say my favorite book of the month this month out of the five that I did read was Empire of Storms that book was so well written I'm in love with the female main character side of the kingdom of ash and hopefully this month I can finish that off and maybe start Crescent City see how we go but I feel like I might need to chuck in some standalones in between starting a new series because series for me can be a bit draining or intimidating series that I want to read are like big books and lots of world building lots of world building what is up with that but anyways that is everything that i read in the month of october thank you guys so much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in my next one very very soon bye